News Nation's Leland Vittert. He is providing insight and analysis on this war uh, since it began. He is a former overseas correspondent. He did spend time in Ukraine when Russian forces first invaded the country mm. in 2014. Leland, good morning. And let's start with that question. Is there any leverage for the U.S. or NATO beyond the sanctions and beyond involving us in World War III to halt Putin's advance through Ukraine? Yeah, it's a great question. What is there between what we are doing and something that will get us into World War III? And there are lots of things, although over the past couple of weeks it has become very clear that the White House's overarching principle is do not provoke Vladimir Putin, that they will not do anything that they think is, in their words, provocative. And the Europeans feel much the same way. Obviously, they're a little bit closer to Vladimir Putin. Germany is much more reliant on him. So sure, there's lots of things that you could do. You could sanction his energy industry because that still has not happened. He can still sell oil and gas around the world. You could give MiG fighters uh, from the polls that we had talked about in, over the past couple of days. You could give those to the Ukrainians. You could give them anti-ship missiles. Uh, you could sanction Vladimir Putin personally and seize a lot of his assets. You could seize the assets rather than just sanction the oligarchs around him. Uh, but so far, there's just a combination of not an appetite to do it in Europe because of how much gas Vladimir Putin provides to Europe in the middle of winter. And there's this fear that everything that you could possibly be done will provoke Vladimir Putin. Clearly, that fear of provoking him has not stopped him from invading Ukraine and committing the atrocities that you guys just talked about. Yeah, and we have uh, these results from our exclusive News Nation Decision Desk HQ poll out this week of registered voters. And the majority of them, 52%, view Russia as the greatest threat to America. And that's over China. Does that surprise you? What's most surprising is how it's flipped just in the past couple of weeks. When we asked this question back in January and February, China was by far, in a way, the biggest fear on Americans' minds. And now it is Russia. And there's a majority of Americans who also think that Russia is going to continue to invade more countries, that they will not stop with Ukraine. So it does show that the, the world has paid attention to Vladimir Putin. And for as much talk as we always have in television newsrooms about how people don't care about foreign affairs or foreign news, well, in this case, you've got foreign news that is very, very much affecting everything that is happening at home. You think about the inflation numbers that just came out almost 8%. Uh, well, uh, stay tuned. Those look backwards and have not even come close to pricing in the huge run up in oil, the 30% run up in oil we've seen over the past couple of weeks that is going to then make things even more expensive all comes back to foreign news. All right, Leland Vittert for us. Thank you so much. And you can ca catch On Balance on News Nation every night. And uh, that's every weeknight at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, and then again at 11 uh, right here on News Nation. And it's Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.